Since the inauguration of the first offshore wind farm in Denmark in 1991, the sector has experienced exponential growth. We have several large developments being launched each year. In this episode of Building for Impact, we'll find out how offshore wind farm can transform the global energy sector. A total of 54 gigawatts of offshore wind farm capacity had already been installed around the world by the end of 2021, with ambitious targets set for the second half of this century. With China currently leading the way as the top offshore energy producer and renewed efforts from the US and Europe, the potential that wind farms have to play in reaching net zero objectives is recognized internationally. Global offshore wind is projected to continue its extraordinary work. Hi, Leonel, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. You are specialty insurance a senior energy underwriter. Can you explain why the global offshore wind plays a key role in supporting the transformation of the global energy sector? Yeah, sure. You know, if you remember, uh, the Paris Climate Change Agreement have set up very ambitious goals regarding the global warming. And I think this is where offshore wind plays a key role because it provides an energy which is clean, affordable, reliable and available at large scale. And what are the main challenges today? Oh, there are many of them, I would say. The first is, um, is technology, because it goes so rapidly, it's really difficult to keep up. If you go back five, seven years ago, having a six megawatt turbine was something huge, and now it's something <laughs> average. Most of them are at least 12 megawatts, and now we also see even bigger 40 megawatts turbine. So it's not only the turbine, uh, we can also talk about the power output of the uh, um, cables and also the type of foundations. Now we see more and more floating foundations because it's getting deeper and deeper. So it's not, it's not that easy to keep up. And the other thing I would like to point out is regarding the claims as insurers, we are really focused on the cables because it represents about 80% of what we pay, whereas it's only 15% of the capex. How can SCORE and the reinsurance industry in general uh, help their clients and partners in their wind farm offshore projects? I think one of the key things is uh, to understand the activity. So which means we need internally to have the, uh, the expert, the expertise, and uh, to be able to engage with them and to follow them in the pathway to decarbonization. And at the end, what they want is to have suitable insurance uh, solution. And we always have in mind this uh, reduction of carbon emissions because it's really part of our, of our raison d'etre. And uh, that's why SCORE is a founding member of the Net Zero Insurance Alliance. And the last thing I would say, SCORE is a long-term partner and we're here for the long run. Thank you very much, Lionel. Thank you, my pleasure. Insurance plays a key role in supporting investment in renewable energies. I'm meeting James McCollum, Head of Insurance for Offshore Wind Farm Market Leader SSC Renewables, to find out how insurance help them build the energy world of the future. Welcome. We are here with James McCollum, Head of Insurance for SSC Renewables. Hello, James. Hi there. So, my first question is, what can you tell us about SSE Renewables? What are your goals? What's your vision? So SSE Renewables are uh, quite a well-established uh, player in the renewable market and I think we're leading the way in developing, constructing and operating renewables both in the UK and uh, you know, throughout the world. A big part of that is offshore wind. Uh, we're currently building uh, the most offshore wind of anyone in the world. You mentioned offshore wind farm projects. How does insurance help you with this? What's the role insurers play? Uh, insurance plays a key role actually in any offshore wind project. You know, there are huge infrastructure spends, uh, you know, the technology is always advancing. Uh, so both in terms of uh, giving comfort that there's cover there if something does go wrong, but also allowing us to access and tap into the information and knowledge that insurers have is very port important and a key part of allowing us to develop these projects successfully. What about the relationship between SCORE and SSC Renewables? We've got a very good relationship and a long-standing relationship uh, between SSE and SCORE uh, that we've developed over the last few years, particularly in offshore wind, where SCORE have supported us uh, in some of these big projects. For example, Dogger Bank, which has uh, been built at the moment, which will be the largest offshore wind farm in the world. Um, you know, SCORE are one of the, the insurers there. So you know, we know that the SCORE team has a lot of good experience, uh, a lot of knowledge, and we can use that knowledge to, to help us uh, at the very early stages of these projects to, to make sure that we're de-risking them as far as possible. 
how can insurers help you achieve your sustainability goals? For example, net zero. Yeah, I think insurers play a, a big part in that, especially as we look to go into the, the kind of international arena. So, for example, we now have an operation in Japan. Uh, so there's a lot of NATCAT exposure that we don't get in the UK. So we need to actually work closely at an early stage with insurers like SCORE who hold all that data and can help us then make decisions so we can implement these projects successfully. Thank you, James, for being here today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on a new Building for Impact, exploring how SCORE combines the art and science of risk to protect societies. Stay tuned for more episodes.